Hey guys, welcome to this channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about learning data science through various projects, hands-on learning, courses, talks with different people, discussions and their experiences. So and in this video, I am going to tell you about or basically demonstrate how to install Anaconda distribution, which is basically a tool which will help you give get access to Jupyter Notebook. So let's just say you uh, just you are new to this field of data science and you want to learn how how to code, uh, how to extract information and insights from the data which keep, people keep talking about. So this is a great way to start because it will help you to build logic. It will help you to learn how to debug because Jupyter Notebook is uh, is a tool where you can like for each line of your code, you can see what it is returning, whether it is running or not. So it is a, it is a great tool and it is very, it is free and it runs on your browser, on your local browser. So you don't even need an internet once you install it. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate how you can simply do it. So first of all, open Google, open your browser, any browser does not matter. Just type Anaconda, uh, land on this website. All you need to do is go to individual edition, just click on it. And once it loads, so obviously I am currently on a Mac, so it automatically recognizes it and I can just simply click download and it will start downloading. But let's say you are on a Microsoft or Windows computer or even a Linux computer, more likely it is that you can, or this, this uh, website will easily recognize that as well. But if not by any chance, then you can like basically go and click here for Windows, Apple devices, iOS devices, or Linux devices. So I will just go, uh, go ahead and click on download. Just allow it. So as you can see, this device, this package is downloading. Um, it is not a very big file, uh, but depends upon your internet speed, how fast or slow it will take to download. And once it, it downloads, all you need to do is start installing. So if you receive any such notification, you just click LO. Um, and then it will take you to the installer. The installer might look different based on uh, whether you are on a Windows PC or a MacBook or a Linux device, but you don't have to do anything extraordinary here. You just keep clicking continue, accept all the terms, license, agree, install for me only, continue, install. So it will take a few seconds to install it um, and then once it does you can easily you know just go ahead and start okay so now this has installed and this basically is PyCharm is a interactive environment um, we can we will be learning about more in the later video but if you want you can install it if you don't want it you can skip it it does not matter just click continue and it's installed. So you just close it out. Uh, yeah, so this is where like it will ask, so the package that was downloaded from the internet to install this entire Anaconda distribution. Uh, once installed, you can just move it to trash or basically delete it. So it does not matter to keep or like, it will just consumes extra space. So you go ahead and just delete it. Now, all you need to do is just Go to your Windows or wherever you all where wherever you can access all your applications. Just click on the screen circle which reads Anaconda Navigator. Click on it. It will take a few seconds for the first time to open. The, uh, this Anaconda distribution gives you access to a lot of various tools within itself. For example, Jupyter Notebook, if you are a person who is 
more comfortable or want to learn data science in R. So then you can get access to R Studio as well. If you want to do some visualization, you have BlueWiz, you have various data analysis tools, etc. Not only this, if you want, you can you know add more applications to it. So now once you do that, just click on Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so once you click launch, it will open a terminal and create an instance of Jupyter Notebook with the home page in your default browser. So it could be Google Chrome, Safari, whatever is your uh, default browser. And if you see here, it, it says local host. So you don't need any internet to work on this, right? So, and so don't go ahead and uh, like just start press or terminate this. N never do that. Because if you do by mistake, then you have to do this, this repeat this entire step, clicking on the launch button, opening the terminal again, once again. Okay. So once you do this, uh, you can just simply start doing your work from here. But what I like to do is firstly make a separate folder you can you, so just click on new click on folder there is a new folder you can just start, rename it so that we know um let's say we rename, rename is python demonstration rename you just click it and then all you need to do is new python 3 terminal so you just click on it. You can just start doing your stuff from here. Now, there is another way to do it. Let's say what happens is that, let me just close out the terminal. Okay. So what happens is that sometimes, and I have seen this in Mac, I don't know about Windows, but sometimes after some time, when you, uh, come to Anaconda Navigator and click on Jupyter Notebook. It will load for some time but won't start or won't take you to the browser. So what you need to do in that case is that there is alternate way to do this. You just open terminal in your PC. Um, if you are on Windows, you can just search CMD command prompt and just open it. Click on it. And once it's open, all you need to do is type Jupyter Notebook. Mind the spelling, Jupyter is J-U-P-Y-T-E-R space N-O-T-E-B-O-K Notebook and just click enter or return key. Once you do this, it is basically doing the same thing. So you see, it will take you to the same home page, and all you need to do is just start with your work so this is how uh, you can download and install anaconda distribution there are two ways to launch jupyter notebook both you can apply both work same there is no advantage of one over the other because both lead you to the same place um, in an uh, upcoming videos i will be you know uh, trying to demonstrate various aspects of data analysis data science using the jupyter notebook so if you guys want to learn more about it or if you find uh, if you found this video useful you can subscribe it like it comment it let me know what are your suggestions if you want me to make videos on other how to stuff in data science do kaggle competitions work on various projects etc etc just let me know Cool. See you guys in the next video.